Well, it looks like there might finally be some good news for Boeing. Reuters is reporting this week that sources have said Boeing is planning on performing a key certification test flight on its grounded 737 MAX later in June. Boeing didn't comment on the certification flights, but said it had in fact won approval from the FAA on its proposed fix for the wiring bundle modifications required for the 737 MAX. Boeing has already been modifying airplanes that haven't yet been delivered and is coordinating modification efforts with the airlines. New airplanes being built will include the wiring update. In March, Boeing said it wouldn't fight the FAA's order and would separate potentially dangerous 737 MAX wiring bundles before the jet returns to service. Boeing also said it had shared with airlines draft pilot training materials and related information to help operators facilitate and plan the development of their training programs. Initially, the FAA wasn't expected to clear Boeing for a resumption of 737 MAX flights until at least August, so a June flight appears to be a bit ambitious. However, an anonymous source warned that the June date could slip into July for the certification test flight, as the dates for many milestones for returning the plane to service have already been repeatedly pushed back multiple times. The FAA said, however, the aircraft will only be cleared for return to passenger service after it is satisfied that all safety-related issues are addressed. In early April, Boeing confirmed it would make two new software updates to the 737 MAX's flight control computer. But Boeing said software issues that prompted the updates were unrelated to a key anti-software system known as MCAS, faulted in both fatal crashes. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, there's more Boeing news this week. Two key U.S. Senators are circulating a bipartisan draft bill that would reform how the FAA certifies new aircraft in the wake of the fatal Boeing 737 MAX crashes that killed 346 people. The measure seeks to eliminate the ability of aircraft makers like Boeing to unduly influence the certification process. The bill aims to grant the FAA new power over the long-standing practice of delegating some certification tasks to aircraft manufacturer employees. It would give the agency authority to hire or remove Boeing employees conducting FAA certification tasks and allow the FAA to appoint safety advisors. As one congressional aide put it, the bill would put the FAA firmly back in the driver's seat overseeing airplane certification. The draft bill would require reforms aimed at preventing undue pressure or instances of perceived regulatory coziness or other failures to maintain independence between the FAA and Boeing employees conducting certification tasks. It would also require regular audits and authorize $150 million over 10 years for new FAA training and to hire specialized personnel to develop technical standards for new technologies and operations. An October report by a panel of international air safety regulators raised significant questions over the certification process, finding the FAA had just 45 people in an office overseeing Boeing's organization destination authority and its 1,500 employees. For the 737 MAX, the FAA initially delegated 40% of the certification tasks to Boeing, an amount that increased as the five-year review progressed. The panel said FAA involvement in the certification of Boeing's MCAS flight control software, a key safety system faulted in both crashes, would likely have resulted in design changes that would have improved safety. The review also found signs of undue pressure on Boeing employees performing tasks for the FAA and said they should be able to speak without fear of reprisals. The draft legislation would ensure no one could prohibit a Boeing employee from talking to the FAA and grant new whistleblower protections to workers at airplane and parts manufacturers. It would also require the FAA to create a new safety reporting system for employees and detail concerns anonymously. The draft bill also addresses concerns about human factors, saying the FAA must review and potentially modify existing assumptions on how pilots identify and respond to cockpit situations. A federal review concluded that Boeing underestimated the effect a malfunctioning of new automated software in the aircraft could have on pilots who were dealing with a cacophony of alerts in both 737 MAX crashes. Okay, so there's some optimistic news that Boeing might just be turning the corner on the MAX catastrophe. However, something jumped out at me in that last paragraph, where they said a federal review concluded Boeing underestimated the effect a malfunctioning of new automated software in the aircraft could have on pilots who were dealing with a cacophony of alerts 
in both 737 MAX crashes. Man, that's worded so strangely. It's really political doublespeak. It's a bit troubling to think that that's how politicians see what Boeing did as an underestimation. If any of you watched my videos on the Boeing cover-up, where I went over all the classified emails and text messages, you know that Boeing didn't underestimate anything. They flat out covered it up and hid all their data that proved that the MCAS system could and probably would crash planes and kill people. While I'm happy that Congress is moving in the right direction in the FAA-Boeing relationship, there are still signs that more of the same may still lie ahead. That's all I have for now. Not a big story, just an update on a couple of ongoing Boeing situations. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and ring the bell. And as always, remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, is Maximus. <laughs>